Hey everyone, um, what we're going to do today is a very simple jig, it's just a pattern. Um, in the vise we have a 3 8 downs brush jig with a 4 aught Mustad 32 786 uh, heavy wire 60 degree hook in it. Um, that time of year for us here, um, with all the rain, our water's dirty and stuff. Uh, I have a lot of black jigs, but if the water clears up a little bit this time of year, green pumpkin patterns and um, watermelon works really well. But this is something I use uh, when the water's a little darker, but it's just starting to clear up when you got maybe that one, one foot visibility. Um, it's just a green pumpkin blue that I've been using. Um, and anytime I do straight colors, um, I always use like two or three different shades. Um, it, to me, I think it looks more natural. It works well. So I continue to do that with all my stuff. Um, two and a half tabs, uh, 55 strand skirt, very easy. We take, um, a half a tab and this is just uh, green pumpkin pepper, um, a full tab of green pumpkin nature's edge which is just a, a shade darker than a regular green pumpkin let me show you you can see this is a little bit lighter and this has fine uh, flake in it which they call pepper to the, this black marking which is on the nature's edge materials and we take a tab of living image bluegrass which is alternating between this blue, a green pumpkin, and um, a watermelon. So we're going to start here with some black 210 denier Danville flat wax nylon thread. We get our base started. I'm not going to have a real heavy collar on this, so it's I'm going to keep it closer to the head than to the um, than to this ring. And get a couple wraps for our base. The first color I'm going to start with is I'm taking this half a tab of a uh, green pumpkin pepper. And the way I, I do this when I measure out is I basically look at how far I want it to um, the tab to come past the bend of the hook, and that's where I'm going to start my tie-in right at that spot. Two wraps and I'm going to work this around just so I get this color everywhere and, and again it's not real important to make sure where you get your material at um, I do this because I think it makes the jig look more natural it gives me more confidence in fishing it um, I had a friend ask me what does confidence do for you I said well I'm gonna focus a little harder on fishing the bait and I'm not going to switch up as fast if I'm not getting bites right away uh, it's going to make me more confident that I can get a fish on this and instead of spending my time switching between baits back and forth and trying different things I'm going to have a little more faith in throwing this a little bit longer so that's why I play with the colors like I do so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our bluegrass you just match it up the way you already have tied in now. I'm only putting one wrap on there to make sure I can get this around without messing up my bottom layer. That's pretty good. I have the blue all the way around, which is what I want. We're going to make a couple wraps. And then we're going to take our green pumpkin nature's edge and do the exact same thing. Like I told you, this is going to be a real easy uh, pattern to do. Again, make one 
low loose wrap just enough that I can work the material around without bothering the bottom layer underneath and check it to make sure we're we got the material pretty distributed evenly across the front and the back we look pretty good and now we're gonna finish it up this is where I'll hold this out a little bit um, just to get the top part wrapped so I don't trap any uh, any strands This is where you want your wraps to be tight too. It, it's very important to get them tight at this because this is the last part of it. Two, three. Four, five, and six. One thing with silicone and a whip finish tool is it gets caught, so be patient with it. I could clip this out of the way, but for the sake of time, I uh, didn't do that. five and six that's good trim that off we're going to take our Loctite super glue brush on and again anybody that's watched me knows with silicone and rubber, I like to use the super glue versus the Sally Hansen's. Um, it has something to do with that white residue when it dries. For some reason, on hair, the silica the glue will leave that, but the Sally Hansen's won't. And on silicone, I tend to get more of a white residue from the Sally Hansen's than I do with the super glue. Go figure. And. Finally, we're going to trim off the ends of our tabs. The only thing left to do with this is put a weed guard in it. after we straighten out our material. Not a bad looking color combination. You see when you tie it with the thread like that, how you get this top part to flare. Length makes a big difference in how it flares as well. We're gonna take some Loctite Super Glue Gel. And again, this is the brand I use all the time. Uh, I'm not affiliated with them, so you get what you want. This works for me. Put some of that in the hole. Put our weed guard in. And there you have it. Green pumpkin blue brush jig. Ready to go. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.